Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen of the series Strategy Game, and we are returning to Command Modern Operations, where we are in a war against Russia, playing as NATO. Now, Russia has invaded the Ukraine, and we have seen a couple of the problems that NATO would face in such a situation already, because the Crimean Peninsula has been reinforced so strongly by them that they have a lot of surface-to-air missiles that are stationed down here, and that basically exerts a no-fly zone of around that. You know what? We can probably say, see that if we look at the anti-air weapon. So, sort of, sort of everything that's dotted over here is basically a no-fly zone for us. So that means our planes need to take a huge detour, flying in from their uh, bases in uh, Bulgaria or Romania, and fly on a very northerly route, which very much limits their abilities to stay over these Ukrainian formations and provide adequate air cover there. So. That already is kind of a big problem. The other big problem that we've seen is that they have very short engagement times from. They can basically launch from one of these uh, airports here and just come over here and they have already sunk two of the Ukrainian ships. Speaking of ships being sunk, we are seeing that a lot of missiles are coming in uh, for the Arla Berkey class here. We still have got a couple of um, anti-air missiles, but honestly it's starting to run a little bit short here. Honestly, that's not, not looking so great at all. Yeah, we've only got a few missiles here, and the issue is there are a lot more missiles coming in from this side here. There's about eight missiles there, so... It is starting to look a little bit not so great, honestly, I gotta admit, admit that. And you know what, uh, let's bring you guys down here too. I'm probably gonna set you guys up for formation at some point, just so... Uh, that everyone here has sort of a fixed place and you can support each other but we're not there quite yet i'm hoping that we're going to survive that but i really just don't know it's also interesting to see that these guys are returning to base um do you guys have any anti-air missiles you've got a lot of stuff there and you've got the you've got four missiles here of the grain but you've only got a two kilometer range so keeping that in mind and keeping in mind that this this ship here could go down very rapidly, I think I would like to launch some harpoons here. So let's try that. Let's try to set out of range. What's your range? 124 nautical miles. Yeah, the Russians have so huge things. 75 miles. Okay, so you are really out of range of everything. Ha, huh, well, that's too bad. Right. So, uh, one more thing that I wanted to do though, is uh, grab these guys here of Rota. There are two planes stationed here, two Orion aircraft. They're not great, um, but they do carry four missiles um, in total, so let's launch these guys as a group. The other thing that I would like to do is, um, in Ukraine itself, an hour ago or so, uh, we have spotted two mobile formations that are advancing into the country. And I'm very much suspecting that these are Russian formations, presumably tank formations, presumably covered by some anti-air. And I would very much like to counterattack these guys as they are rolling over the border. Remember, we're not going to attack anything in Russia proper, excluding uh, the Crim Peninsula, however you want to see that. Uh, but we can attack into in, in Ukraine. So, how about we grab some of these airplanes here, these F-16s um, from the Buzzards one? I'm not sure uh, which one are you. United States, okay. So you are United States planes that are stationed in Italy. You guys are carrying Mavericks, you guys are carrying harm missiles. These guys down here in, in particular are carrying a lot of Mavericks. Harm missiles, cluster ammunition. You guys should very well be able to take out these mobile installations, especially if you've got air cover. Now the issue is this is pretty far away. That's uh, nearly a thousand miles away. So I would like to have a little bit more refueling capabilities. We've got two tankers here uh, coming in from Rammstein Air Base in Germany. But um, I've just sent up two more here off screen. So they're going to be coming in and then I think once our tankers are, let's say, over Slovakia, we can probably launch these guys and sort of join up with them and I think that's going to be alright. So that's going to be the main plan for today. We're also going to send in more flights here. What are you guys again? Yeah, yeah, no, no, not just fighters. You guys actually do carry bombs, and I think this plane down here uh, was also this flight here. Yeah, you're also carrying some bombs, so you might be able to attack uh, these targets over there. We are going to see whether that's going to truly work out or not. Uh, we're also going to try to disable some of these raid installations as a preparation for our full-on strikes, but that's going to have to wait a moment. Let's focus on this stuff down here first and see how that um, will go ahead because. 
That's a lot of missiles that are coming in and I would really, really, really like to take them out. As you can see, we are missing a couple of them already. That's no good at all, especially the first one here has, uh, is, oh, this is, this is going, this is not going great at all. Well, there are two missiles coming in. Ooh, nice, okay. Well, that was, that was tight, okay. You guys are running blind, but there's at least one missile that's uh, targeting this incoming missile, so that's good. But that has missed. And send out another one. There's also further missiles coming in there. And this is our last ditch defense here. Okay, that was good. But this group here, I, I dread the most. Because they're so close together. They're not that fast. But still, they are very dangerous. Right. Um, let's also uh, try to keep an, a good overview of what's going on. Nothing in Ukraine itself. So that's good. You guys are what doing what? You're returning to base. Yeah, okay, that's fine. You can do that. That was the remnants of our fights up here. So far we've lost two planes, a U-2 and a Turkish F-16 down here. So that's okay-ish. It's, it's not fantastic though. Um, and again, one thing I would like to do here is why can I not target these guys here with our harm missile? I don't understand that. Let's, let's check on this again. So you can legally target what? Radars. That's just generally radars. You guys do have radar installations, or is that purely, is that purely something like a proper radar set? That's something like I don't know, uh, these old sand batteries. Let's try this over here. Oh, see that too. That too does not even list that. Okay, so what we can maybe do is do a bearing only launch in this direction here let's let's try that let's try fire off a single harm missile here and I want to find out what that does it doesn't have a mission lock yet but we're gonna see whether it will acquire one uh, once we get closer right two missiles being targeted on that that's all good we are finally getting some flights here over Ukraine itself that's good although your fuel is starting to run a little bit low uh, which I kind of dislike. I would also like to take a look at our uh, recon aircraft. Where are they currently? I think it should be somewhere around here, shouldn't it? Yeah, NATO AVEX. Okay, let's push you forward a little bit. I want to have you in sort of this area here, just so that we can spot any incursion by Russian aircraft a little bit earlier than we did, than we're currently doing. So that's nice. You guys are returning to base, that's cool. Oh, we are sending single missile here on the uh, SK-24 fencer, that's nice. Oh, how's this missile doing? Yeah, another miss there, okay, finally got it, that's nice. Um, this is an F-35 and I think we have got an F-22 coming up here. That's nice, I want to take these guys here to try to take out some of the SU-24s uh, that they have got around. Yeah, but we need to see. Okay, you guys still do not have any mission lock. That's really, really intriguing. We're also seeing further missiles being launched. And to me, that looks like it's also going to this cluster of ships down here. This is really, really bad. That's just really, really bad. Um, also, I think we presumably have... No, you guys haven't launched yet. Whew, okay, this is this is starting to look a little bit worrying because we are running out of anti-air missiles, and that's that's a current that's that's a typical theme that you can find, which is not that great. Okay, you know what? Um, can we guys group you? And then what I'm gonna, gonna do is I'm gonna use the formation tool if I can find it. Map settings? No, game unit orders. It must be under unit orders, shouldn't it? Group operations, formation editor, there we go. Okay, so what I want you to do is the other Berkey class is clearly in the middle and she's the lead, that's that's cool. You guys um, do have some anti-air things, so set you on a station with a fixed bearing of here. So you're gonna be pretty close to that. That's gonna be all right. Um, you are going to be on a relative bearing just in front of it because I think you're the best anti-submarine warfare platform. Um, and you guys are again sort of going to be on a fixed bearing, so that means that uh, you're always going to face towards this direction over here, uh, which basically is going to mean 
the uh, Crim Peninsula for the foreseeable future. Now it doesn't really matter to set you to the north here, so I think we can actually turn you around and uh, disassociate ourselves a little bit from this fighting. You guys can get up there, and we're still going to try to intercept here with our submarine against this group. But yeah, that's going to be that. Right, okay, let's continue. I'll hope for you to get a mission lock there. But I'm afraid that with all of these missiles, so this is two groups of missiles coming in, right? That's this group, we've got this group, and there's another one coming up here. Three groups of missiles coming in, actually, against these guys. That's going to be very, very difficult for us. That's that's not going to be easy at all. But I would like to take out the Fancer. Come on. Yes. Nice. Good hit there. Right. Oh, uh, interestingly enough, there are some MiG-31s here. And a couple of SC-27s. Now, I'm afraid that the MiG-31s, one of the fastest airplanes in the world, right? So, the MiG-31, how fast can you go, actually? 1,350 knots. That's huge. Um, you're also carrying missiles that presumably do have a decent range. Like, what, the A... It'll, yeah, okay, you're basically going to carry these two 90 miles. 90 mile radius on the AA-9. What's your radius here? 75. If we are very fast and close in with them aggressively, we might be able to do that. Now, what I'm hoping is that I think they're trying to intercept us. And I'm hoping that they'll, that we'll carry them a little bit over this formation here. I'm not sure whether there's any AA left. And honestly, it does not look like that. Oh, that's a pity. I was hoping that our Ukrainian friends could help us out here because against these fighters, uh, we're actually not that powerful. Um, the yeah, the, the NATO, NATO does not have necessarily only the best equipment. They do here uh, act planes launching and that's going to be two flights. That's going to be this one and it's presumably this one up here. Uh, but that one doesn't matter. This one does because this one here is on a mission. They're going to fly over to here and then they're going to be refueled. Uh, speaking of refueled, you guys are fine. How about the Grippins? You guys over here. Okay, you're fully refueled, but notice just how the Grippins, they really... I did not notice that before this game, but this is a Swedish airplane and they really, really are struggling with the range here. 500 miles, so they can basically fly to the border and then they need to return immediately. That's not very good. Oh, we're also seeing more planes over here. Let's uh, keep an eye on this guy. Not sure what he does. He could be a civilian. Uh, although I kind of uh, kind of doubt that, to be honest. Mm, another airplane being launched? I don't know where that was from. But, oh, we do have another plane down here. Oh, yeah, we did send out a Reaper um, to maybe finish off these guys over here. So let's send it up over there. It's going to be all right, but it's going to be super slow. Right, what else can we do? Um, I guess we could try to launch another F-35. We'll, uh, you know what? For for me di dissing these guys so badly, um, I I think we should um, I should I should give them some respect because we're using them pretty aggressively in a lot of these theaters up here uh, to maybe sneak in, try to find the enemy, try to. Try to take out their high value targets. That would be fairly fantastic. Um, notice this this vampire up here. Very, very high speed and extreme altitude. This is another ballistic missile coming in. I think it's an Iskander and I think it's coming in down here. We are currently launching two missiles at it, but that might not be enough. I'm really intrigued. Okay, right, you guys, um, this fancy here, electronic warfare, we're gonna try to take that out. So please do send a single missile there. Whenever you feel like it. Yeah, it's far outside range, but uh, we're going to get there. We're going to slowly get there. We don't need to rush these things. Now, we could be targeting these, these cruise missiles down here. Um, of course, that would be, would be entirely valid, but... By the way, I'm not sure why you're not um, turning around. I would very much like you to go south here. Uh, and I would very much like you to go there. I'm not sure why you're not doing that. Really weird. Okay, uh, we are seeing missiles here. Not sure what that in exactly means. Well, there is a flanker up there. 
There's not our planes um, in this vicinity here, so I'm gonna say that that's not exactly our business at this very moment. So wait a minute, you guys are F-15Es, you guys have 15 Cs. Presumably you're slightly worse, okay. Um, let's bring you up to the north. You are on cruise speed, that's all right then. We're gonna try to find that plane with these guys. And these guys are presumably soon gonna go south towards the... Oh, look at that, these guys are spooling up their, their speed, which I think means that they're in an attack plan now. I think they're, they're, they're sprinting in to try to tackle us. Let's turn directly towards them. And let's actually use at least military speed. So that we can close the distance here as quickly as, as humanly possible. Yeah, they, they just turned inwards. So that really means they are trying to intercept us. Now that means also they have spotted us. And... I'm kind of disliking that we're going that far south because that means we're also going to be in range there, but we don't have any chance here. Okay, let's do turn on our radars and then let's send out missiles. Oh, it's only a single thing. Right, nevertheless, these are high value targets, so I do believe it is warranted to send out a few more missiles towards this guy. Um, whenever we do engage him. Now, he will launch missiles at us at 90 miles, but here's the thing. Oh, wait a minute, this is two, two, two planes. Okay, so we have attached three missiles to that guy. So I suppose we can attach like at least two on you. Yeah, so they're going to uh, launch at us from 90 miles. We established that. That's probably the range of the AI uh, AA-9 uh, that they seem to be carrying a lot. But I am hoping that the AA-9 has... What's your... Yeah, you've got a semi-active radio homing seeker. So that means that this guy needs to point his radio installation as our, at us for the entire duration of the flight of his missile. If we are continuing to close in at this uh, rate, we might very well be able to launch before um, his missiles would impact us. And that would carry the benefit of potentially forcing him to turn around. If he does need to turn around, his missiles are not going to spot us anymore. Uh, what are you guys doing? Who are you anyway? Yeah, basically, by the way, I think this harm missile here has, has completely run out of steam. Which is a shame. Why? I, I I don't understand why you don't consider any of these a valid target. Here, here I do at least get a valid target. Why on earth is that? What's different about this radar than the other ones? I don't understand. I really don't understand. Well, can we talk to anything over here then? No. No. Can we talk to anything in Crimea? Ha. Huh. Well, of course, probably these aircraft, hardened aircraft shelters are not going to give off any emissions. Oh, there we were. What was that? The tower? Yeah, the tower. Okay, the tower does have a radar dish that we can target. Everything else. Wait a minute, something was over here. Was that another tower? Yeah, it was the tower control building. Everything else seems not to be targetable. Huh. Well, crumbs. Okay, you know what? In that case, um, let's do try to fly over here and maybe attack these guys. It's not going to work out tremendously well, but at least we might try. Okay, um, and to do that we're actually going to go on low altitude here. But that's disappointing to be honest. I was, I was sure that we could target stuff over there, but very much apparently we can't. Okay, Kerch, that's just the city. 
But yeah, I mean, we definitely should be able to target other stuff too. Why on earth wouldn't we? Normally I, I think I understand the game pretty well, but then this stuff happens and suddenly I don't. Okay, nevertheless, uh, let's do get you to low altitude too. I'm going to try to intercept that. You know what, in fact, no, no, 1000 feet is fine, otherwise you're not going to be able to launch. Right, um, and in that case, honestly, these guys also need to come in a little bit more like that. But Jesus, I thought the harm missiles would be doing fantastically well over here. But they just don't seem to do that. You guys are fine over here. We've got a couple of Sidewinders here. Missiles being launched up here. Again, that's probably not against us. But yeah. Okay, uh, let's focus on this fight over here. This is going to be the interesting one. So they are at this point 100 miles away. Uh, we would not have needed to drive quite as fast now. Okay, you're starting to launch missiles against this group, but apparently not against this one, which is odd. Right, soon we're going to see them launch. Very soon we're going to see them launch. And at that point, we're actually going to accelerate. Okay, look at that. He's spooling up, um, and that means he's trying to use... Oh, Jesus, what's happening here? Did I just send you immediately over this this group here? I think I did, and I, I think I went down to, to a sufficient degree to actually trigger that uh, surface to air missile. That might have been a stupid mistake. These are actually two missiles. They have a pretty good chance of hitting him. Whew. Well, that was lucky. Uh, let's try to get away here. Uh, that's not a good uh, circumstance to be in. Right, okay. Um, since we are very close to him launching, we're actually going to go on afterburner speed so that we're going to close in with him faster um, than otherwise would be possible. There we go. Max speed on our end. He's also spooling up his speed. And a little bit of speed may makes the difference of a little bit of range because it's impacting... Um, basically, it has a higher momentum on the missile before it's being launched. And that means we can presumably launch very soon. See, he's at 80 miles now. He must have had some delays there due to his electronic seat, or maybe he's not trained well enough. Um, and this is just, you know, by the second here, our missiles are getting closer to being launched. And that is very, very nice. All these missiles here are a little bit of a problem there. But here we go. Our missiles have been launched. That's very nice to see. Let's go to cruise speed. We don't need to close in that fast now. Our missiles are on their way. That's that's fantastic. That's all we need here. Right. Um, let's nevertheless check on what's going on here. More and more vampires coming in against our ships. Really, really crumsy, my friends. Really, really crumsy. Um, also notice that how these guys apparently have had some issues here in, in, in their targeting solutions and are now turning to the north. Or they might have been programmed to do that in the first place. So maybe, I don't know. Kind of hard to tell. But yeah, with all of their land-based missiles, they really do manage to have basically an exclusion zone here. Uh, back to you guys though. Um, I would like to drop you towards, let's say, a low altitude. And um, the main reason for that is I want to be a little bit safe from um, surface to air missiles being launched from Krim itself. Nice thing is also, uh, we should see some surface to air missiles being launched at the MiG-31s here. So that's good. Yeah, and you can see we are starting to launch missiles against these guided weapons here. Not entirely sure what they're doing, which, which target they have acquired. Presumably they're trying over there. They just might also be on, on some random search pattern, in which case it's it's fairly redundant to try to target them like that. At least we did manage to shoot down that guy, but we are starting to run very short on missiles. Okay, there's the surface-to-air missile from the Ukrainians, the Ukrainians on the MiG-31s. MiG-31s have been turning away, but they've got five missiles coming in there. And the nice thing about our missiles, Jesus, look at our missiles, is that if they... If they do destroy one target, uh, the missiles behind them can sometimes retarget another group um, because they are do typically have radar seekers on their own, uh, which I think just happened to this missile. No, it didn't. Okay, yeah. so far we are managing to shoot them down, but are our capabilities going to be enough? See, here's the issue. Yes, nice, okay. 
Did destroy them over there, that's good. And they are completely within the uh, uh, the, the fighting envelope here of this uh, surface to air battery, so that's super good for us because that means they're going to be uh, seeing missiles being launched at them sort of the entire time. Uh, that being said, ooh. That being said, they definitely have launched against us too. Um, in which case, I think we should, just to be safe and, and keep him overwhelmed, uh, we should continue to fire at him. Uh, we should try to... You know what? Let's uh, try to run north. I, I realize that that does mean... Um, and guys, guys, I need your speed rating here. There we go. You know what? After burner speed is fine. Yeah, he's turning away, so he should not be able to, to spot us anymore. Um, unless he's going to be able to paint us again, uh, these missiles might not be able to pick us up. That said, there's still one missile coming in. He should see that any moment, and at that point I think he hopefully should be going back to actually turning around. Yeah, you can see his, uh, his radar control there, his fire control. Yeah, and these missiles are doing something. They're not completely, completely off limits. Wow, there's more, more planes up there. And more missiles being launched at us. That's for sure. Ooh, this type. Nice. Okay, we did manage to shoot him down. That's, that's lovely. I'm, I'm very happy about that. Whew. That was that was actually that was actually really tough. Okay, more missiles, more missiles, more missiles. Um, we are gonna see an issue here because soon we're not gonna have anything in in this group. Right. Uh, let's make sure our reinforcements are coming in all right. You guys are doing okay here. More missiles being launched. They are all going towards our ships. Can we defend our ships better? Can we send in enemy air or something like that? You guys are all landing. That's okay. We've got this F-35 here. I think you can try to come in a little bit more aggressively against this target here. Though he's still 130 miles away, which is basically the same distance as we've, see as we've seen before. So that's kind of eh. Okay, the Eurofighters are soon going to be refueling from these tankers, which is fine. Um, you guys should also kind of all do that. Your basic, your basic job is to attack these these ships up there, uh, which I think you're gonna do just fine. Uh, but before you do that, I would like you to refuel from this tanker group. Uh, next one is gonna be you. Uh, and last one's gonna be you. So you're gonna form a little creep up there. It's gonna take a while for, for the, all of these guys to be to be refueling there, but I think it's going to be alright. Yeah, you're coming in nicely there, you're going to come in nicely. Hopefully we can do something against their navy as well. We've got these SU-27s down here, they might be a good target for our um, F-15s. We are also seeing more bogeys over here, and we don't really know what they are, so... Uh, you know what, uh, let's go back to normal altitude and, and cruise speed here, please. Uh, so that you don't burn fuel quite as badly. I think these missiles are not a threat anymore. Basically, they should be, should not be running. Ooh, Jesus! Really? Oh, Jesus! I was just happy that we shot down two Mig thirty ones, and four further ones do appear somewhere over here. We don't know where they are exactly for now. I've launched a lot of missiles here just to take down two. But, do we want to go into this fight? I think we might want to do that. I think we might actually want to do that. Um, let's keep these two guys here in reserve, just in case these four need to withdraw, so that we've got some cover there. To maybe, maybe take them out. Okay, you guys are coming in there, that's, that's great. You guys going there too, you guys are withdrawing, you guys are withdrawing, you guys are landing. I think you guys here are sort of on a landing. On final approach, yeah, and you're going to be refueled and going to be reset up, and that's going to be very, very lovely. Right, um, you guys are getting to your tanker bases. We've got the Gripens coming in too. All of that's pretty nice. The only thing I'm worried about is that we don't really have that many planes over Ukraine at the moment. 
basically only six planes at this very moment and most of them seem to be very close to being engaged um, and I'm also worried about the amount of harm missiles that we've got over here uh, which very much it appears uh, are not going to be usable in the intended role that's slightly crummy three hours until you guys are going to be back in the air well how about you guys then okay let's send out at least another group here of two guys to to send over ukraine and give them some air cover because i really think it's what they do need and didn't we see another su-27 group down here MiG-31s are kind of weird planes. They're, I think, interceptors in, in a sense, so that they're, they're very much optimized for speed, uh, but not, says that not necessarily for agility. You guys are just so slow. How about you guys? Yeah, you're very slowly climbing and very slowly acceler accelerating. Yeah, you'll probably need to be at least over Slovakia before we can lo uh, launch any other strike group there. What are you doing? Why are you returning to base? I I do not want you to return to base. That that is that is not your job here. Your job is going to be cruising. You've got a lot of fuel. You've got maybe I hit a wrong button there at some point. Really weird though. SU thirty five's up here. I think that's the bomber variant. Okay, now we've got a decent eye here on these guys. And I think we're going to try to repeat what we did earlier. And that is, is going to try to overwhelm them by... Um, you know what? We're actually going to run sort of straight north here. Because I very much think that they're going to try to intercept us. And if we can lure them over this formation, that very well might... Nice, we did shoot them down there. Shooting down some of these missiles here. That's That's good to see. The three there is also good to see. Nice. Okay, all of them down. Still, a lot of guided missiles on the way. I'm very sure that soon we're going to get a notification that we're spotting more. But that's going to be alright. Okay. Right. You guys are very far away. But the further we can bring you over these these Ukrainian groups, I think the better it's going to be. That's kind of odd. Are you, are you trying to run away there? Yeah, see, there's there's further missiles being launched at our ships because they're sort of doing that a little bit piecemeal, but eh, what can we do? Right, the SC-35s, I think, I think they are... There's also another target over here. Um, I think, yeah, that's just missiles. Um, I think they are bombers, right? SC-35s do remind me of fighters. I thought the F-35 was the... Wasn't that the bomber variant of the SU-27? Ah, oh, Jesus, I forget my planes. Yeah, no, it doesn't look like it. Looks like a, well, looks like a multi-role. Could be anything, but presumably it's going to be a fighter. Okay. 100 miles. Do you have surface-to-air missiles? We've got surface-to-surface -surface missiles, interesting. And a couple of SA... Tens. The range on these guys is not going to be good enough. So we cannot rely on that um, as, as we did sort of last time around. Okay, uh, well at the very least our, uh, our uh, F-35 has n reached nearly over Crimea, uh, which does give us a better view of things uh, as they're going on here. And I do see a fencer that's, that's kind of close. Um, let's try to see whether we can attack you. No, we are already set to attack you, so that's nice. Yeah, we can of course target these weapons here, but these are difficult targets, and I don't really want to waste my my best anti-air assets against them. So let's see. I think this guy is turning around. Maybe, maybe he's lost um his his fuel, and that would be okay. I would feel much more comfortable in fighting two of the MiG thirty ones, or three rather than four. Mm, more planes launching. Who's that going to be? Someone down here? Oh yeah, we did set up one flight down here, didn't we? Yeah, a couple of you guys. Do come up here. Do support Ukraine, please. Weird formation at this point, but okay, I'm going to take it. 
Okay, um, we are very much within their range. Let's let's try to close in. They might have already have launched uh, their their missiles there. Right, more missiles up here, vampires. What's on a weird course? I think they're going to try to attack. It might be ballistic missiles. No, they are cruise missiles. Yeah, they're terrain following cruise missiles. Going up here, what are they targeting? I don't know. Let's try to get you guys here, sort of over here. I want to be able to intercept these missiles down there. Uh, right, but we need to be focused on, on the fight over here. So we are sending a single missile on each of these three targets there, uh, which I think is going to be too little, to be honest. Um, let's let's be a little bit more aggressive here. Uh, we do have a couple of missiles to spare, and these are truly very, very dangerous targets. So we've got one missile left. You've got a couple. Um, let's set you up to, to launch at least a couple of them too. Let's have at least two missiles on each of these targets. And because I only set up one to do that, he's going to uh, take a moment to, to fire that. To basically realign and reprogram everything. But he should be alright. There we go. We're burning a lot of fuel here. 17 minutes. Uh, we've gotten in, at this rate uh, before we need to turn around. But that is going to be alright. And I'm, I'm hoping that that should be enough. Right. Well, at least the fancier here is, is getting closer to us, so that's lovely to see. But yeah, how are things up here? Uh, also, I think we did set up another F-35 at some point, didn't we? Yeah, you guys. Okay, come on, get over there. Completely forgot about you. Right, back to the uh, MiG-31s. Okay, the last one has also uh, made an appearance here. Uh, which is not great. Yeah, we are seeing their missiles too now at this point. Not great, but at least I'm hoping that maybe... What's your range, guys? Your range is... 40 miles. You should be able to engage them. Unless, of course, you've run out of ammunition. Uh, which might very well have happened once you were trying to provide air cover for um, your bodies there. No, they, they are sending out some missiles, at least from this installation, so they might be having some. But yeah, this is a missile duel at this point. And I'm afraid that that's not going to be pretty against us. But we'll need to see just, just how good or bad this is going to turn out to be. Okay, there we go. First missile is a miss. Second missile is streaming towards this target, so we don't know yet. But there we go. Come on, come on. Do, do, do give me a hit. Yes, nice, good. Okay, that means at least some of these missiles here have become um, unhinged, so to say. Right, come on. Yes, okay, that was the surface-to-air missile. It would have been lovely for us to, to claim that hit, but it didn't, so that's fine. Notice how all of these missiles here are going for them, but notice how they are missing us. And notice how all of these guys here have been reprogrammed immediately for that one single flight over there, which is fantastic to see. I love that. Very good performance here of the F-15s. Very, very good. These guided missiles here are a little bit worrisome. Everything else here seems to be fine. You guys should soon be able to launch, actually, against this group. Why don't you? I thought, you know what, come on, guys. Do give me a break here. These harm missiles have been, have been so, so disappointing for now. Well, you're not very high, so maybe that's that's a bit of the issue. Turn that altitude advantage into something. Okay, um, all of these missiles have missed or run out of um, out of fuel here before reaching the MiG thirty ones, and I'm afraid that he might repurpose these missiles here to to actually target our group here. Currently, they're not doing that, um, but he has launched another. No, 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 he has exactly done that. And that's a bit of an issue because his missile is now much closer than ours. The surface to air missile might be our rescue here, but I don't know about that. So, okay, we've also seen the first missile here being launched against this group. That's lovely. Um, you guys need to be a lot faster if you want to have any chance of catching these guys. In fact, you basically don't have any chance of doing that. What could you be targeting? 
You're going this direction. You could be targeting this radar, although that doesn't seem quite plausible to me. You could be targeting this radar installation, which would actually be better because then we could launch someone from Baku. Um, except there is no one in Baku who could be launched except in 30 minutes. Which is going to be too long. We've got the Avex, we've got the Grippens. AM 120Bs. I think you might be the last hope of these guys. Now, there's only two missiles. So you know what we are going to do is we're going to go to uh, map settings, switch to unit view. We're going to grab one of you, Puma 7 here, and Puma 7 is going to split off. Um, you are going to be unassigned from group, group operations, detached from group. There we go. I go back to group view and then we should have the group flight eight, uh, 3A55. You're going to continue on your route there and then we've got this single Puma here, uh, which we're going to try to sort of bring between these two targets there. Um, on, yeah, you know what, let's go cruise speed because otherwise you're going to be too slow. Right, these groups are being targeted, the SK-24 is being targeted, but how about our F-15s here? They are not doing so hot. This guy is locked on us very well and that single missile here at the very least is going to impact us soon. So, and he has complete ability to steer us and that does mean he is bringing down one of our F-15s and I was so, so optimistic there before, but I did give him enough time to lock onto us and that's a problem because he really should never have that time. So let's continue to launch at him at sort of uh, several intervals here just to make sure that he's going to be engaged in offensive action all the time. Okay, he has been taken down uh, taken down again by the surface to air missile so that's that's okay. Um, it would be nice if the glory hat went to us but it didn't. Um, let's try to get over here then uh, back to normal altitude back to normal speed please try to engage the SC 35s there these missiles at this point should be harmless because again they're semi-active and at this point I think we are fine well that being said with more missiles coming our way and at this point it seems basically absolutely no ability to defend ourselves especially for this guy here what can you actually fire on this guy you have absolutely nothing you've got 20 millimeter guns I'm not even sure whether they're automatic or whether they're just going to be hand fired at them. Can we do anything? Let's try to lay shelf. I don't think it's going to do anything. Let's. Yeah, there's nothing you can do. Nothing you can do. Too bad. Um, I think we're going to suffer a hit there. And I think we're going to suffer further ones because I do believe. That this guy here has essentially run out of anti-air ammunition and that's a bit of the problem with modern ships they can be overwhelmed by groups of uh, missiles like that so the big question is what are we going to do in that context um, I think the first thing is we're going to pull in more fighters down here um, on sort of medium altitude military speed setting um, in the hope of, of potentially at least intercepting some of these guys um, although that's that's far from insured, um, how many how many salt winders do we have here? Practically none, so it's pretty much worthless to, to bring these guys in. Well, what else do we have here? What else could we be using to cover our forces here? Well, I'm guessing some of you guys. How about some Turkish planes? They should be able to make it over there, I'm guessing. So, you know what? Um, I think that's what we are going to do. We're going to try to pull in. But you are not bad either. I thought you were a little bit worse, honestly. Yeah, but you know what? Um, you are assigned to that mission. That mission is basically provide air cover down here. Um, I think that has been pretty much irrelevant. So, let's set that up a little bit further to the north here, actually. So, we're going to send you over here. And hopefully we can pull that up to the north there as well. It's probably going to be too late. But let's see about that. Um, guys, try to get over here. It's half an hour away. That's that's going to be way too slow. I mean, these guys are going to be here in six minutes, seven minutes. And we are doomed at this point. You know what? We might as well uh, tell our guys to, to 
basically man the lifeboat. Yeah, and on that note of optimism, <laughs> let me end this episode and uh, say thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Um, do let me know your thoughts uh, about these weapon systems. Was the loss of the F-30, F-15 there avoidable? I should have managed that better. If, if we do continue to send missiles at them one by one at sort of every 20 seconds, we should be able to keep them so occupied that they can't really achieve a continuous look on us. That's an important finding. The downside, of course, is that that burns a lot of uh, missiles. On the other hand, every missile he dodges uh, sort of robs him of a little bit of energy. So that's the good thing there. Oh, uh, also, it's nice to see that you have launched at least a single one of your harm missiles there. Uh, although not the second one, apparently. Uh, but I'm guessing you're going to do that soon-ish. But it's really weird. Why can't you target this, this radar, but you can't target this one? I'll need to dig into that a little bit in between episodes. Until then, hope to see you around next time when more of these missiles are going to come towards us. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.